Well, on balance, I think he was very good for Israel and really good for the, the Middle East. Did he act in Israel's interest sometimes, which would go against the, the interests of other, other people, other countries in the region? Yes. But you've got to remember, for example, he was the person who pushed Rabin to do the Oslo Accords. And had Rabin not been assassinated, we might not be having, you know, the problems uh, that, uh, you know, that we have now. There's no doubt about the fact that, you know, he set up the arms agreement with France, which led to the development of uh, Israel's nuclear capacity. But again, I would argue that has probably kept us from having any major wars. You've got to remember in 67 and 73, you know, very, very many countries in the region attacked Israel. That hasn't happened uh, uh, since then. And I think in his later years, he tried to get, uh, you know, Prime Minister Netanyahu to be more forthcoming in, in, in dealing with the, with the Palestinian situation. So, yes, he was concerned about Israel's survival in the beginning, and he took steps to make it strong. But on the other hand, once they were in a position to negotiate, I think he was the one pushing it.